Okay, good afternoon everyone. Um, we have a, a, a student here, Kira Middleton, who's going to be speaking to us today about her global internship that she had. Um, she experienced this last summer, okay, with the Eric Stein Fellowship Award Program. So welcome. Welcome, Kira. Thank you. Can you please describe in a few paragraphs the Stein internship you participated in overseas this past summer? Yeah, so um, I had the fortunate opportunity to intern for a um, venture capital investment firm. So what I specifically was doing was digital marketing work for this firm, but it was a really interesting company to be a part of because um, they have reach all over the globe. Um, so I was based in Santiago, Chile, um, and that is the capital of Chile, very central to the long country. And um, this firm invests in entrepreneurs that are Latin American, so either from Central or South America, and are looking to, um, I guess, scale in either North, Central, or South America, or even Asia. What I got to do for them was varied. Um, every day was exciting and different. I What took up most of my time was um, the company had their own news site, and this news site, which was called LATAM List, basically kept track of all of the Latin American tech news and made sure that it could be translated into English so that people living in mainly North America, Canada, and other European countries would be able to keep up um, with Latin American news in one common news site. So I got to write these articles, which required a lot of research, and then translating and then boiling down the articles into the main 100, 200 words so that it was very concise. I also maintained the social media for the firm as well as the managing partner. Um, and I also helped out with the managing partner's podcast. He has his own podcast called Crossing Borders, which is all about um, Latin American entrepreneurs and startups that are kind of making it big in the tech world, mostly fintech, um, blockchain, financial technology. It was a lot of digital marketing work, but every single day was different and interesting. Could you please describe the differences that you noticed and experienced in your foreign work internships in regards to things like culture and business customs and you might want to include something that was like surprising to you, um, maybe some things like what you liked, what you disliked. Yeah, I have had the amazing benefit of, um, after my freshman year of college, I had an internship within the United States, which was, um, you know, all remote work over the computer, working with a company that is based in uh, right near South Africa, Swaziland. And then the following year, I had the opportunity to go um, with the business school to London. And there, with the Signal High School of Business, I had an internship um, right in New Malden, which is pretty close to central London. And then this summer, obviously, I was able to go as a Stein Fellow to South America and spend my time interning in Chile. So. I would say that I've been able to experience a lot of different business environments um, and Chile specifically was very relationship oriented. Um, the very much task environment of both the UK and the United States was a like, pretty dramatic contrast to what I experienced in Chile and it's hard to pick a favorite because there's many pros and cons to both of the environments but um, basically, in Chile, there's a lot of uh, like physical touching, a lot of um, big personalities, and people aren't necessarily holding back uh, belly laughter even though they're in a business meeting. Whereas if you're in the United States and you're in a business meeting, um, you might not be trying to, you might be purposely, consciously trying to hold back bigger emotions, whereas in Chile you um, as a woman in the workplace, like you will greet everyone with a kiss on the cheek, um, and that's just regular 
common custom and it's something that at first you it's a little bit different I guess is the best way to describe it just different not necessarily uncomfortable but um, as soon as you get used to it you really see the benefits of it for me knowing how I greet someone ahead of time was very helpful because sometimes you meet someone and you're not really sure okay should I shake their hand or should I uh, you know is it appropriate to give them a hug or am I like should I be maintaining eye contact or is eye contact going to be disrespectful um, but just knowing the way a country operates and being able to learn you immediately are able to adapt um, there were so many helpful people wherever I went in that um, everyone was very understanding and they know that I was a student traveling from Pennsylvania to Santiago and that it was my first experience in South America so anytime I was going into a situation where maybe I had to act a little bit more formally or, um, or not I always had someone in my corner just giving me a heads up on what was appropriate and what's not. Reflecting back on your inter the opportunity that you had in Chile, um, what things would you identify as being most valuable to you, both professionally and personally? So, what was most valuable to me across the board, professionally and personally, was the people that I met. Um, the relationships that I was able to build while I was there. Still keep in contact with many of the people that I met, whether it was the students that lived in the same accommodation as me or the other interns that went through the same uh, third party as me to get their job placements or if it was my colleagues. It was just constant networking. Um, even friendships that I made is networking and it it has had such a big impact on my life. Um, it just having so many people that are taking a deep concern in what I want to do with my life is very powerful and especially when those relationships are across the globe because even if you don't necessarily plan on working overseas, being able to know and understand the dynamics of different business cultures is at this rate mandatory for almost any industry even domestic ones because when you work even within the United States a job that isn't necessarily involving any travel you need to be able to understand what it takes to have a global outreach and the sort of hands-on experience that you get by genuinely you know packing up your bags, traveling to another country, and staying there for not just a few days, a few weeks, but a few months, and really just letting go of any expectations, you begin to develop a different kind of mindset, and the people that I met really helped develop that for me. Um, you go abroad, and you have to just not expect anyone to act a certain way, and that includes yourself. Um, don't expect yourself to be immediately totally fine with the fact that you made this big jump um, as well as don't expect anyone else to uh, immediately think that you are this amazing uh, American intern that has come to save the day. You have to genuinely uh, put yourself out there and once you do you will meet people that leave a mark on your life that will last a lifetime. Yeah, that definitely for me was the biggest takeaway. Uh, thank you for sharing that. If you were mentoring someone, uh, Kira, who's about to participate in a similar global internship, um, what kind of advice or wisdom might you want to advise them with uh, as they partake on this adventure? Well, there's so much I could say to a student that wanted to go and experience something similar. Um, First of all, first and foremost, and most importantly, do it. Every single time, say yes. When these sort of opportunities are in front of you, and no matter how the experience goes, you will benefit from taking that leap. So I think what holds people back from going abroad is often, you know, you have in the back of your mind this kind of confusion with, well, why should I put forth, you know, whether it be 
uh, emotional sacrifice, financial sacrifice, physical sacrifice to go abroad and uh, most often not get paid money because of how visas work and everything like that. Um, but the experience that you have is invaluable. Um, so I would say other than go for it, I, I think the most important thing to keep in mind is that everything is a matter of mindset. Um, I come from a household that, well, neither of my parents are North American. They both come from Ireland, and because of that, all of my family is overseas and very spread out. So my entire life, I've traveled a bunch, and when I came to school, I knew I wanted to go to Susquehanna because of the business program, because of the London program, because I wanted to travel and I wanted to be able to experience this kind of international business environment as much as I could. So for me, when something like Stein came up, it was a no-brainer. I, With a little help and encouragement from professors, I knew that it was something that I could do and wanted to do. But regardless of that, um, I made the mistake of just thinking that everything's going to be absolutely fine and I've traveled before so this is going to be a piece of cake. Um, and with that, a really big piece of advice I would have is to just always be have a malleable mindset in a sense that you don't expect yourself to excel in a way that is just, you know, might not happen. It, it, obviously, it, it does happen eventually, but you need to be ready and prepared for the fact that you might still get culture shock, and that's completely fine. And you might have a hard time adjusting for the first few weeks, and that's completely fine. Um, language barriers might be really scary, and that's completely fine. Um, I guess the biggest thing is that fear is not a reason to not do it, and that it's something you should embrace because as soon as you start to put yourself in a position where, okay, I know and I'm consciously aware that I'm a little bit scared and I'm a little bit confused and I don't know what to expect, and you make it through that, you begin to realize that you can really do anything that you set your mind to as long as you have the necessary support. And having the benefit of going to an institution like Susquehanna University means you have the necessary support. Um, and the professors and the program, this board of trustees that are involved in Stein, uh, the other Stein candidates, um, Stein alumnus, they all will help so much. And that coupled with friends and family, everything will be okay and there's no reason to not embark on an international experience because again, you'll develop into a person that is ready for anything and is able to take on huge challenges with a sense of adaptability that not many people can say that they have. Um, so finally, I just would like to say thank you, but if there's anything else that you want to share with us that you feel might be beneficial um, to others who are interested in partaking on this or uh, just in anybody who's in an inter international environment um, for our business school, uh, please feel free to share that um, if you'd like. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I feel like I could go on forever about the benefits of interning and traveling abroad. Um, if I was to add one more thing, I would just say that being able to draw comparisons between uh, a European culture uh, our Western U.S. culture and then a South American culture, both socially and within the business world, I feel like I have obtained something that is very rare and a lot of people don't realize that it is readily available and it doesn't need to be rare. And I hope that anyone thinking of making these kind of jumps in their lives, jumps in their lives, um, they, they go for it.